New York traffic is terrible. Uh, too many cars, bumper to bumper. You don't move. Eight o'clock to round about eight o'clock. It doesn't matter what time of the day, it's always going to be gridlocked. When the lights are changing, people just want to, they want to make it across the lake. There's nowhere to go. The light's going to change again, and then now you're blocking the other guy from going. If you don't stop when that light says stop and you get caught in the gridlock, oh my God, that's it. Forget about it. <laughs> if you look at the map of Manhattan, it has a lot of intersections. If one of those traffic controllers breaks down, you get a massive traffic jam. We started out as a pilot project together with the city, so uh, what they want to do is to have remote monitor of all the traffic controllers in the city. So we have installed a little bit more than 500 of those traffic controllers to give live feedback back to their traffic management center to make sure that they are all up and running. So one thing you could do in the future is if you get all these traffic controllers connected together with the CCTV footage and radar input from the streets to connect that to AI and then do real-time analytics of that to prolong or decrease the amount of time you have green lights or red lights somewhere to create easier traffic flows. One of the things that New York City decided to do was to create their own um, private network to communicate with their devices around the city. Because we developed our solution very much based on security as the foundation. We were selected to be the communication device for the RTPI science in New York City. RTPI stands for real-time passenger information. So the bus itself sends its GPS position to the MTA data server, and then we fetch that information to give minutes away rather than bus stops away. And then uh, one thing led to the other, so after that we went into the wayfinding project as well, the totem poles. And it used to have a paper schedule around it. Now it's an electronic display and there is also a push button for the people that cannot see. It's a part of a full effort to make people use public transportation a lot more. Because to be a great city you need fewer cars on the road. And in order to achieve that you need better public transportation. And we are happy to be able to help with that.